Okay, hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the uh, Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling Series for the 19th of uh, March, 2000, I'm sorry, 1983, wish it was 2003, but um, new talent coming in and uh, old talent uh, still there, uh, continuing to be a heavy wrestling program. Uh, we start with the Great Kabuki, the, the I guess, the, the beginnings of the Great Kabuki here. Uh, a good thing, as it were, as uh, Kabuki is a pretty uh, influential guy at the time. Gary Hart presenting the Great Kabuki to the um, Mid-Atlantic audience, I think, for the first time. Anyway, um, he faces off against Mike Davis. Kabuki, of course, a martial arts gimmick. And for the most part, if you followed our Mid-South or our uh, uh, World Class uh, series, which both are several hundred long, worth going out of your way if you haven't checked those out along with the other great old school stuff we have that's here and continues as well but anyway uh we kind of move into kabuki uh being a martial artist punch kick and uh, gary hart actually uh, comes out with kabuki kabuki has a legitimate what looks to be samurai sword mike davis is a good fodder for the beginning of kabuki punch kick and kabuki is not willing to take any backward steps lots of striking uh, spin kicks, and at the time, think about the martial arts movies, martial arts heels, uh, early 80s, certainly a uh, worthwhile journey there. Um, you know, we get a guy like a, um, get a guy like a, uh, great Kabuki, Kabuki managing to hit uh, um, some really basic things and ultimately uh, gets the Savat kick and a win. The uh, interview with the tag team champions, the new NWA tag team champions, Steamboat and Youngblood, both wearing suits, uh, willing to take on all comers, admitting that the matches with uh, Slaughter and Kernoodle have been uh, perhaps some of the most difficult of their career, and Slaughter and, and Kernoodle wanting, uh, at some level, wanting um, the the opportunity for the rematches and uh, was granted to them. Another just kind of interesting run, Andre the Giant being promoted. I believe he's going to come in and work the one-man gang, although I don't remember that completely for sure. Gang, though, with Ken Timms uh, up next in a match, as it were. And uh, Gang does a lot of punch kicks, bear hugs. I'm ringers from the one-man gang, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. With a 350-400 pound guy doing basic wrestling maneuvers, big body slam or power slam, almost running style by the gang gets a victory for him. And of course, uh, they are going to go back to the Jimmy Valiant storyline in the weeks and months to come. Joe LaDuce is back and he's uh, talking about uh, not being eliminated, having been in the hospital for a good bit of time. Confrontation between him and um, none other than Charla Oliver Humperdick. I don't know that they actually turned LaDuce babyface, but the inference is there, as he no longer wants to be under Humperdinck's uh, tutelage, even though Humperdinck is holding him to the contract, w although he was injured while a, a member of the House of Humperdinck. Interesting angle there. Uh, and uh, Paul Jones out next, cutting promos, as it were. Jones out there, kind of cutting promos in, in reference to, uh, without limitation of that uh, run. And then we go to Championship Wrestling from Florida at the time. Uh, and that is uh, for the benefit of, um, you know, in Tennessee, uh, Jake Roberts, who's coming back to the territory, versus Barry Windham. First time he's referred to as Barry Windham. I believe he's been called that in the Florida territory for the majority of time. Of course, Black Jack Mulligan Jr. is the name prior. And uh, Bob Cottle brings that forward. And Jake Roberts nails a heck of a... Uh, uh, knee lift and gets a victory there. Short clips there. Jake Roberts basically implies that nothing's going to stop him. He's coming out and he's going to cause as much uh, chaos as possible uh, to and, go and lets Gordon solely know this. Roberts hits the back suplex and then finally does hit the DDT. So apparently the DDT is come up with sometime between 82 and 83. I don't think I saw him before then. Uh, Masafuchi and Dory Funk Jr., is up next. Joey Funk Jr. still your Mid-Atlantic uh, uh, heavyweight champion. Fucci comes up with a couple of arm drags, takes the man over, 
uh, Funk tries to take keep the man dominated both with headlock, hammerlock, and even something of a, a minor guard for 1983 standards. Funk tries several pinfall attempts, doesn't get everything he wants on it, but does get enough to control the content the content of the match. Fuji managing to hit a uh, um, you know running deal there, and um, and then we see Funk uh, with the with the takedown and ultimately manages to hit there. Uh, Funk obviously gets the victory over Fuji, and then you see uh, newcomers to the area, um, Mr. Brown and Sweet Brown Sugar, uh, two African-American stars, which they still were doing in the 80s, obviously. Racial undertones here in 2021, not a big, not a big uh, win there, but uh, managing to do it in that time period. Sweet Brown Sugar endorsing Mr. Brown, and they uh, continue to look at being a tag team. Speaking of tag teams, Slaughter and Crew Noodle, the former tag team champions, are back, this time as the... Um, uh, Ron Ruffy and Vinny Valentino showing their their wares. Uh, Slaughter takes the majority of the match. Punch kick, basic stuff. Drops the elbow uh, and or drops the knee across. And uh, Slaughter and Cronoodle working as a more vicious uh, driven team than before, perhaps. Uh, Slaughter and Cronoodle take a longer than normal length of time here on the 19th of uh, March to uh, dismantle the. The tag team, and as it were, and continue to be there, and all of that. Uh, punch kick and a basic bit there, and um, ultimately leading to the win for the former tag team, longtime tag team champions, as it were. Here we go to uh, Rotundo Jones and Sweet Brown Sugar versus Harris and Alexander, and their third partner, I think Red Dog Lane. Um, Really, a, 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 an inconsequential match. I think the idea here is fill time one, give people something that appears special but really isn't in a six-man tag team match two, and also highlight uh, Mike Rotundo uh, on a consistent basis. Rotundo continues to be the highlight of the match. Former television champion by this point has been defeated by Dick Slater, although Rotundo does take the early part of the match getting more collegiate wrestling time than average. Sweet Brown Sugar comes in and hits uh, Harris with a couple of shoulder blocks, punches, kicks, and basic maneuvers. Uh, cross bodies and other basic things get him an advantage as well. Doesn't get him everything he wants, but gets him enough. And ultimately, Sweet Brown Sugar contributes to the win for the babyface team. Greg Valentine is upset with what happened with Roddy Piper last week, but still reminds the fans that he, in fact, is still a multi-time, several uh, several month-long U.S. champion, and no one's going to stop that, according to Valentine. Good promo from Valentine's perspective there. Valentine then does go into a uh, final match of the day. You can't call it a main event match because it's really a squash. Uh, Valentine and Bill White are here in this particular contest. Valentine dominant throughout. Uh, there is a exchange with White where he uses a bit ride time. White's a guy who never really uh, got got his fair due. Uh, does manage to overpower Valentine and get some ride time on him for a little bit. Valentine though does manage to drop the knees and the uh, the uh, driving of, of knees and such into things. Valentine again cuts the promo post the his match after winning with a back suplex and a figure four and that no one is going to take. The U.S. title from him. Slaughter and Cronoodle come back out with another promo, letting it be known that they have every intention of going back and taking the World Tag Team Championships back from uh, uh, Youngblood and uh, Steamboat going forward. And that will close us for this particular day. We'll be back with more right after this. <laughs> 